last day in Hawaii and I figure, why not hit the beach today, huh? I've been out here long enough, I might as well surf the beach, right? You know, even though it's a little overcast, seems like a pretty good day to go in the water, go try to catch a wave. You know, I figure it's the second I get out of the water, the sun comes out, but I got time to go back in. Here, the Moana Surf Rider was built in the early 1900s. It's actually on the historic Hawaiian buildings list, I believe. You know what, Kiki is a nice place to go surfing, it's a nice place to hang out, but if you want to go shopping, it's like everywhere else. But everything is super duper expensive out here. Unless you go to this one place called like the State Shack, which is up here, they got like food for, a good portion of food for like eight, nine dollars. And it's really tasty. If you're looking for that steak shack place, this is Trump's Hotel across the street, right on the beach. You can find it right there. Cheapest food, well maybe not the cheapest food, but really good amount of food, and it's right on the beach. And there's the beach. Right over there is the steak shack. It's really cheap. And uh, look at all that lovely chicken and ranch. You don't see that in Japan, my friend. I don't want to complain here, but I feel like I could surf easier when I was a kid in Florida. But maybe it was because I was a kid and I was in Florida. But I could go to the North Shore and die. Surfed, swim, swam surfed all the way from one part of the beach to a completely other side. And now I'm just resting the shade of the board. I'm glad I have it because it's like an umbrella. And it's a good place to take a siesta. I was out there for like a total of six hours and I caught three waves. I think I was up for a total of three seconds on all of those three waves combined. But it was fun. And as the sun sets, there is a free show. dug that hula show more than the one that was in the Hilton because not only was it free, it felt more traditional and it felt like it wasn't as commercial. Like the one in the, the Hilton felt like it was kind of like, oh, this is the American version of the, their culture. But this was done by Hawaiians, I think, to show their culture. 
but it'd be a shame if I came all the way to Hawaii and I'd be a loco moco. Eggs and a burger patty in there on top of rice. I'm led to believe it's a local favorite. It's pretty good. You know, just walking down old Waikiki and enjoying the stores, the shops, the sounds, and the somewhat interesting people that are down here. But I'll tell you what, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss Hawaii. I learned a lot about the culture. I, I was introduced to a culture that I knew next to nothing about. And I feel like I want to learn more about Polynesian culture. And I got to surf. I got to see a ton of museums. I got to see places I never thought I'd see. I got to climb into caves. I got to see some amazing things. And I got to swim in some amazing places. I feel really lucky. And if you ever get the chance that you can do it for cheap, highly recommend coming out to Oahu Check out this island. If you can see the other islands too. Oh, that's a statue. But as I always say, you can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. You guys stay groovy and aloha.